is the number one doubles player and fearless leader of LMU's women's tennis team. She's overcome 5,000 miles and a language barrier to get here with the help of her close friend, Jamie Sanchez, who's been coaching women's tennis here for the past 40 years. Stay tuned for this and more on this episode of Behind the Scoreboard. Roger Federer is every young tennis player's idol. He is the perfect game. ATP ranks him number two in the world, but he's number one in his home country, Switzerland, in stats and the hearts of thousands of fans. That's where he lives with his beautiful wife and family. He is just perfect. He is perfect in every sense. A great athlete, not just like in like career-wise, but also like per like his personality, his private life. Meet Lisa, the captain of the LMU's women's tennis team. Federer is her idol, but maybe for more reasons than his other obsessive fangirls. Don't let looks fool you. She's more like the star than you might think. She was a tennis prodigy in Switzerland. In fact, when Federer would return home after touring, they practiced at the same tennis club. I, I've met him once when I was little. I was like, I think I was like eight years old, so I was kind of shy. So I only got like his autograph. Lisa's coach, Jamie Sanchez, gives her the highest compliment. He says she even plays like him. Her style of play is very much uh, similar to and I know she'll love this, but it's similar to the, the number one player from Switzerland. I do play with like slice and I try to come to the net a lot, play like the volley game. And that's what Federer is doing too. But I mean, he's on a whole other level. That whole other level is his sharp mental game. When she's behind in a game, Lisa has developed a routine that helps her stay on point. It's just like looking at my strings or just like breathing or just like stuff that keeps me like distracted kind of a watch has happened of like why I just lost that point. When tennis is 80% mind games and 20% technique, Lisa says the odds are stacked against you if you can't get your mind out of the net. You can practice like all day every day and then play a match and if you're not ready to fight and give everything and stay positive, there's no way you're gonna win. But staying positive is something that hasn't come easily. I'm a little perfectionist. I think everyone hates mistakes, but I do really hate them. And sometimes I just get so frustrated, I just get crazy. Working on a head game every day has been a part of an uphill battle toward a high school record that she believes was the peak of her career. I feel like that's why also Jamie like was really interested in me coming here. So I was excited to show him what I actually, how I can play and that I can be like really good. But then I came here and I couldn't prove him, you know, so that was rough. And I know I have so much more potential than I have shown. But Sanchez has stood by her since the moment she stepped off the plane for the first time. One of the cutest things in my, my freshman year when I got here, he picked me up from the airport after my like 12 hour flight. He like uh, took me to this restaurant and I like ate Swiss food again. Over 5,000 miles away from home, she sat across the table from the man she barely knew. She could barely understand him because her English wasn't very good. But from that moment on, she knew they would be close friends. Jamie, he's just adorable. He's like my second dad here because I don't have parents here. Jamie always supported me and he always got my back. And he, I know he's always like, he believes in me. That's why I'm still here. I mean, we spent our, so much time together. She's actually babysit my, my daughter a couple of times, who's three and a half. So, I mean, so there's a connection there that's even outside of the tennis. That helped me to keep my hopes up and just like to keep on fighting, working hard, and yeah, to try to make it into the lineup and to compete. Now in her senior year, Lisa is the captain of a team. She is determined to help her teammates have an easier four years than she did. You know, she involves herself with the team, she wants to be involved, she listens. Overall, her biggest uh, plus factor is how well she wants to keep everyone connected, okay, and doing things uh, for each other. Usually I'm the person that gets along with everyone on the team. Like, I really try out to reach out to everyone and just like try to make everyone feel comfortable. Go up to them and like actually ask, like, how are you doing, like, you know, are you stressed or what, what's wrong, you know. Graduation is around the corner and Lisa is leaving a completely changed person thanks to the challenges she's faced in her game and the support of her teammates and coach. It makes me sad when I think about those moments 
like what he has done for me. But she looks on the bright side. Just like in a tennis match, her college career is not quite over. She will keep playing until the very end. The match is not over until like literally the last point is played. That's why I love the sport so much, because it's not over. That's it from us here at Behind the Scoreboard. Tweet us at at Raw Network and nominate an LMU athlete. Who knows, maybe one of your friends could be the next feature story.